Hey folks, Mel Waldorf here, uh, back with part three of the Vox Reverb Adventures. Now, you may recall, uh, this is a uh, Vox AC15CH head, a modded 2017, a modern one. And uh, the reverb is, the stock reverb leaves a lot to be desired, just a big wash. So first I went through in video one and compared the stock tank to three different tanks and um, selected which one was my personal favorite and that is the two spring long tank with a medium decay and uh, then in the follow-up video I was trying to see if there are other ways to boost the amount of drippy reverby goodness that this could possibly have and I tried putting a boost pedal between the reverb return the reverb out of the, the pan and the reverb return in the amp, and that created a lot of boost. So then I went to a friend of mine who is a uh, electrical engineer and said, Oh, wise one, Chris, you are wise. Uh, can you tell me how I might go about getting a, the, a similar kind of boost without having to uh, have a, a boost pedal sitting outside? So he had a look at the circuit. And I'll show you here. I think that's uh, reasonably in play. So there are two component values that have to change. Uh, C37 and R52. Th three, uh, bleh, C37 changes from a 330 picofarad to 100 picofarad. And R52 changes from 100k to 330k. You may be wondering why. And I really couldn't tell you. But I will tell you that apparently uh, the value for C35, which is right here, if you increase that value, it will increase the amount of bass that comes through the reverb. And if you decrease this value, th C37, it will increase the amount of treble. So I actually played around with a couple of different um, uh, values here. I went down to even as far as 22 picofarad, and it just got a little harsh. So I think that... Um, 100 seems to work well. So let's have a listen to that and see what that sounds like. Alrighty. Let's see here. So now we have lots of reverb, which is cool, and then it does turn out sometimes you might want less reverb, and um, I had played around with that with the Fender uh, 6G15 circuit and actually came up with a pedal, an external pedal, which lets you control as a secondary mix, and strangely enough it works on this amp. So that is my drip switch pedal. Uh, actually currently marketed by Surfy Industries as the Surfy Drip. I'll put a link below. And the cool thing about that is we can have lots of our um, reverb. And then we can have a lot less. So it actually winds up helping. It's not, uh, the sweep isn't the best for the Vox amp, but it obviously still works, which is pretty exciting. Uh, one thing, and so the way that that's connected, uh, I don't know if you can see here, I've got a uh, very fancy uh, little quarter inch jack that's coming off and through one of these vents, and it connects to a splitter, an RCA splitter, on the reverb return so um, that is how all that works and basically I think with those simple steps we wind up with a pretty great amount of reverb now one thing to keep in mind though is it does give it more likelihood of high frequency oscillations I don't know if you can hear that I imagine that the dogs in the neighborhood can 
that's a beautiful sound. So you do wind up having to control the treble a little bit, but if there's one thing Voxes are good at, it's making epic amounts of treble. And so there you have it. Um, let's see, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. So usually I just have to take the reverb just a little bit off of, of the max, and then it goes away. And uh, also this, by the way, works with the foot switch. So we can have, and I've got the standard foot switch down here on the floor. See that? Woo! Let's put that back. Oi! So you can have, uh, you know, uh, And you can hear, for some reason, engaging the tremolo also increases that high, the high frequency thing. It seems to be related to this. Let's see if it goes. So that high frequency game has something to do with, I might have to put a filter or something uh, on there. I haven't figured it out yet. But for me, anyhow, totally worth it, dude. So... I hope you have enjoyed this lesson on how to make your Vox AC-15 yet more awesome than it already is stock. So remember, there are deadly voltages in here, so don't futz around with anything inside here unless you know what you're doing. And if you know what you're doing, then do. If you don't know what you're doing, show this video to somebody and they'll know what to do and then you'll be like, oh, see, look, I know, oh, or, or something to that effect. <sighs> I've been locked up in here for a very long time. Anyway, enjoy. Ooh.